All right, guys, so basically what I want to do today is I want to show you guys how to make a beat from start to finish. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to mix the beat or put any plugins or effects on the beat. I'm just simply going to show you guys how to make a beat, lay it out, sequence it, um, and arrange it uh, so that you can export it and you can have a beat. Um, so I'm just going to start with the basic template. I'm going to start with this keyboard template, and I'm just going to use all the stock sounds. So we're not going to do samples today. We're just going to do um, basically use this template. Um, so it's got sounds already loaded up for you. Um, so I'm going to start with the synth. Uh, I'm going to play the keys today, but um, you can click over here to program edit. You can paint the notes in just like any other program. Um, so, you know, you can, you know, do all that and um, you have the notes in there. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I'm going to come to this view. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to your bars and change that. So I'm going to change that to 8 because I want an 8 bar loop. Um, and I want my tempo to be, I don't know, somewhere around 160. Um, so we'll change that. Uh, and then when you make sure, you may always want to make sure that you start here at the beginning. Because um, you don't want to just, you don't know, have the, the cursor anywhere because then that's where the beat will start. Um, so basically, uh, I'm just going to play some, um, some notes and that's going to be how we start. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and run with this as the basic notes. So then if you need to, you can go in here and just make the couple corrections that you need to make. And so then if you need to make any corrections, you can just come over here. And then you can slide them over. Make sure you got the pencil on. All right, so then we're going to come back over here to um, the track view and we're going to go ahead and just put down some, I don't know, we're just going to use the synth bass. And we're going to put down some uh, bass underneath that. Again, I'm just using um, stock sounds, so don't clown me in the comments. So now I'm just going to put maybe some kind of synth lead over the top of that. All right. And so after that, we're just going to go ahead and put a piano over the top of that. So now that we have all that, I'm just going to come down and put some drums in. Um, but I want to choose the drums that I have on my pad from this uh, basic kit. So again, I'm just using all the bass sounds that come with this template. So in order to listen to the sounds, come over here to your samples and just click on the volume with the left button. All right, so now that I have the drums that I'm going to use, um, I'm just going to come back over here again to record. 
But now check it out. This time when I record, I'm just going to let it keep recording and I'm going to uh, keep laying down layers on top of layers. So after I've laid down my uh, clap, then I'm going to lay down my hi-hat, then I'm going to lay down my kick. But the cool thing about it is I can just push record the and let it record the whole time and it'll keep recording onto the next layer and onto the next layer. So that's one of the really cool functions about this program. All right, now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to fix my little mistakes. Because we all make mistakes, right? And it's just as easy as sliding them over. So now that I have the drums to fix the way that I want it, now let's say I want to go back in and add some more drums. If you push record and you push play, it's going to record over everything that you just did. You can push control Z to get it all back. Um, so what you have to do is you have to overdub. So you want to push this one right here, this overdub, and then push play. And right here is your velocity. So I want to bring the velocity up on that symbol. So I like to generally put all my same sounds on my one sequence. So it's going to be like the chorus. Once you get all those sounds together and you get everything going and you're ready to start laying out your beat, you're going to want to come over here to edit up here in the menu button. You're going to want to come to edit and you're going to want to come to sequence and you're going to want to copy your sequence. So push copy sequence. And then I would name the sequence. So we're going to name this one chorus. And then you're going to hit do it. And what we're going to basically do is we're going to copy this as many times as we need, because from there we can um, edit the sequence. So I'm going to do a chorus and then I'm going to do a intro. I'm going to do a verse, a verse two and a bridge um, so that we have all the sections of the song. So then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. And we're going to name this one the intro. Do it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it again. We're going to name this verse one. Do it. We're going to do it again. And we're going to call it verse two. Another thing that you can do, though, is you can stretch out the um, the sequence and you can make it 16 bars or however long you want it to be. I'm not going to uh, show you guys that here on this one. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it this way because this is pretty easy. Uh, verse two, do it. And then the last one we're going to do is a bridge. So this is kind of like a trap beat. So we're just going to um, make the verse 24 bars or 12 bars. And then we're going to make um, the, the chorus. So we're going to name this one the bridge. And do it. All right. So now we want to decide how we're going to break this up. So if you hit this arrow button right over here in your um, track view, um, you can decide which part you're going to you're going to edit. So we're going to come to the intro first and we're going to decide what we want in the intro. And so in the intro, I think I just want that um, synth lead, maybe the pads. So when you're checking it out, you can mute stuff just to listen to see how it's going to sound. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to mute it and we're going to listen to see what sounds best for the intro. All 
right, so now that I have um, decided what I want in the, the beginning of the intro, I'm just gonna uh, basically click on it. Um, I know there's other ways to do this, but uh, for just the easiest way to show you guys right now, this is how I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna come over here to uh, program edit, and then I'm going to highlight all of that all the way over. And I'm just gonna uh, delete it. And don't worry, you're not deleting everything from the whole program because you have your other sequences. So I'm just deleting it from this sequence. And then I'm gonna do that again um, for the drums. Delete, I don't think I got that bottom row, so we'll just do it again. Delete. All right, so I have my intro. It's just gonna be that synth pad um, and then the synth lead. So the intro is gonna sound like this. Um, I believe in all hands on deck for the chorus. So the chorus, we're gonna leave everything in there. I might double the chorus though and um, just take the hi-hats out for part of it and then have them come back in at the end. Um, but we'll do that last. So now we wanna go to the verse. So you're just gonna come over here to your um, sequence and then we want verse one. So when verse one starts, I just want the synth bass to play and I just want the um, no drums to come in until um, bar number two. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to um, edit that up. So same same thing, I'm just gonna delete. I'm gonna come over here to five and I'm just going to highlight all this again and I'm just gonna delete it all. And then also when you're in that, you can, you can change everything over here too. So you can just go down to keys or whatever you wanna take out. So to start the verse off, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm gonna take those drums out and then I'm gonna take out this um, synth bass to start to. And I'm just gonna let the, the piano and uh, the piano and the synth lead go, and then the drums will kick in. So we're gonna take the synth pad out for the whole entire first eight bars. So then this is how the verse is gonna sound to start. Now we're gonna to go to verse two. And in verse two, um, we're still gonna leave the synth lead in. And we're going to, um, we're gonna take the pianos out now. And then we're just gonna leave that alone. Um, and then we're gonna go to the bridge. And on the bridge, I'm gonna take out the synth lead. And then I'm going to actually, too, I'm gonna, at the, uh, the last two bars, I'm gonna take all the drums out. And for the, those last two bars, I'm gonna take um, the the bass out, so that when the chorus hits again, the chorus is just it just it goes hard. So then the bridge will sound like this. Boom, and then the chorus will start slapping back in. What we're gonna do here is. There's a part where the synth lead is off, so we're gonna fix that real quick and just move it over. All right, so we're gonna copy the chorus again. And then we're gonna take out the hi-hats for um, half of it. And that's just to give the beat a little variation. We didn't do a whole lot of breakdowns and stuff like that because uh, again, this was just basically um, a simple way to show you guys how to put a beat together using the program. 
All right, so now that we have all that together, um, in order to make this a track, you're gonna come over here to this arrow button and you're gonna go to song. Now you see over here, you have this blank screen. So you're gonna take, your sequences are down here. So you're gonna look for what you need and you're just basically gonna drag them over. It's just that easy and put them in order. So boom, you're gonna drag your secret from this pad, the sequence from this pad to your left over here and drop it in there. And just like that, you have your intro. And so then we're gonna find the chorus. Boom, drop the chorus in there. Then you got your chorus two, find your verse one. You find your verse two. Then you wanna to go to your chorus again. You don't know your bridge. Find your chorus, chorus two. Verse, verse two, bridge, chorus again, chorus two, and then your intro could be your outro. And then all you gotta do um, is push play. Oh, I'm sorry. Then, uh, and then you'll notice it's all up here. So then when you look at it through the song view, it's got everything. Um, it's got all your stuff there. So you can look at it by just, uh, you can look at it by the keyboard template or you can look at it by the drums or however you want to look at it. Um, but it's got everything there. All right, guys, and just like that, now you got a beat. And that's how you make a beat from scratch and NPC beats. Um, I know the beat is just meh, but again, I was just trying to show you guys um, basically how to get a start and how to make these beats um, just using the tools that you have. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just going to let the beat play out at the end, um, and I'll be back uh, here in a couple days with a video on uh, mixing and using plugins and all that other stuff. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.